Hey guys, Michael here. To kick things off today, I just want to start off by saying Happy New Year. Um, I hope 2017 brings something special to each and every single one of you guys. Today, we've got our hands on Google Wi-Fi, but what is it, you say? Let's ask. Hey Google, what's Google Wi-Fi? According to Google, Google Wi-Fi is a new type of connected system that replaces your router for seamless coverage throughout your home. Let's get started. Unboxing, again, was a pleasure. Everything was just kept neat and very easy to open. Inside, we find three Wi-Fi points, three power adapters, an ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. That's the unboxing, pretty painless. And the hand, it feels solid, very well designed. Google said that their Wi-Fi system is a product of three and a half years of work. Now, if you're looking to get a single Wi-Fi point, currently it's about $129. Your other option is to get three for $299. Now, $300 is a lot for a Wi-Fi network. However, when comparing it to other mesh networks, Google's price point is fairly competitive. So what are the requirements? Well, first of all, you've got to have a broadband internet connection in addition to a Google account. And you have to have an Android device with Android 4.0 or higher, or an iOS device with iOS 8 or higher. And lastly, you have to download the Google Wi-Fi app, which is the heart of Google Wi-Fi. Now, traditionally, we know Wi-Fi routers have a limited range. So the solution is increase the range by adding an extender. However, extenders can decrease bandwidth and also have limited reach. So what's Google's solution? Well, it's called a mesh network. And a mesh network is constructed with multiple Wi-Fi points which create a blanket of reliable and fast Wi-Fi that can cover your entire home up to 4,500 square feet. And dependent on where you're located within the house, it places you on the least congested channel. Google Wi-Fi comes with two Wi-Fi bands, 2.4 gigahertz, which is slower, but has longer range, and 5 gigahertz, which is faster, but has shorter range. I believe Google Wi-Fi is a turning point in Wi-Fi, and all that is because it is app-driven. The app is very simple and very easy to use. The first icon on the very top left corner gives you a summary of your Wi-Fi. The second column is like a map. It helps break down your Wi-Fi. It tells you your speed and usage of your internet, and yes, all real time. It displays your Wi-Fi points. In my office, I have the Wi-Fi point, and downstairs, I have Google on Hub. Within the app, you can even restart the network, which is similar to unplugging your old router, then plugging it back in again to reset it. Google allows you to create your own guest Wi-Fi. You can prioritize devices, which means you can pick out specific devices that you want to make sure have the best internet possible. Now, what's pretty neat is they have included something called family Wi-Fi, which allows you to pause specific devices. Say during dinner, you don't want anybody you know, using their phones or the internet. You can simply pause the internet on those devices and later resume them at your convenience. Just try not to devastate anybody. On the bottom of each Google Wi-Fi point, you find a USB Type-C port for power, two gigabit ethernet jacks. Then at the very bottom, what you find is Google is after taking care of their customers. They provide their phone number for direct support. 
Now, instead of using Speedtest and Fast.com, all I need to use is the Google Wi-Fi app because within the app, you can test your download and upload speeds. You can also test the connection between the Wi-Fi points, which is called a mesh test. And as you guys can tell, I am all for Google Wi-Fi. I think it's awesome. And if you are somebody who needs a stable internet connection um, and has a few dead zones at your location, I would highly, highly recommend Google Wi-Fi. Granted, again, it is kind of pricey, but comparing to other mesh networks, it's definitely very competitive. Now, this video is not sponsored content, so this is my honest opinion. Uh, and I personally would recommend Google Wi-Fi. You're just not gonna find such a complete Wi-Fi package all in one place. Now, I'm gonna leave links to everything I talked about today down below for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, a uh, thumbs up will definitely be appreciated. And feel free to subscribe because more content like this will definitely be coming up. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. Happy New Year again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Now to think of it, I wouldn't mind using this solely as decoration. It looks that good.